Hi friends, this is a quick video showing the use of rock wool as a great alternative to expensive sponges. I got this two sheets of rock wool for less than $20 and it comes with total 98 cubes. The size of each cube is one and a half inch. If I am using it in Aero Garden pots or the similar ones, I can make four plugs out of each cube. That means I can use one cube for four pods. However, right now I am using it in my lead pot mini hydroponic system which comes with square pods similar to the pods in I do 7 pod hydroponic system. So I can make only one plug from one cube. I am cutting it into the size that can perfectly fit into square shaped pod and I am shaping it a little bit so that it aligns very well. In this experiment, I am using the seedlings instead of seeds. So I am slitting the rock wool plug to open it so that I can easily insert the seedlings. Otherwise. I can simply place the seed very similar to how I place the seeds in a regular sponge. Now I am repeating the same process for two more pods. Since I don't have the stickers for these pods, I am using aluminum foil as a sticker alternative. Aluminum foil is a great and least expensive sticker alternative. Alright, the garden is ready. I have two pots with the regular sponges that came with the lead pot and three pots with the rock wool plugs. Let's see how these seedlings will turn out in the rock wool compared to the standard sponges. It's been two days. Seedlings survived in all three rock wool plugs and they are looking healthy. It's been one week. The seedlings are coming excellent in rock wool, pretty similar to the seedlings in sponges. Let's take a look at the root system. Wow! It has developed a nice root system already and the roots are coming through rock wool very well. Now let's check the second pod. I don't see any roots here yet. Same thing with the third pod. It's been 14 days. The ceilings are coming nice. Let's check the root system one more time. This is the pod that we saw the root system last time. It is looking very healthy. Lot more roots coming through the rock wool. Here is another pod. Wow, I can see the roots coming through this rock wool as well. So there are a bunch of roots showing up at the bottom. So this is all going good. This is all working out very well. So the rock wool is working very well and it's a great alternative to sponges and it is very, very economical. So I will definitely continue with the rock wool instead of expensive square sponges. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.